Well, hello, all my model car building buddies. This here is Glenn's Models. I'm Glenn, and they say I'm lazy, but it takes all my time. Okay, now, let me see, where do I start? Oh, my buddy's at Spotlight. Right here, right here, look, look. Spotlight, Hobbies, and dot com written in invisible all right they got a couple of new things in this week uh the number three issue of cartoons magazine come on man who doesn't love cartoons magazine they are both iconic and legendary yeah that's it everybody knows who cartoons is also from drag city castings they have a resin 34 ford five window chopped coupe and pretty nice. It looks pretty good. Uh, they show it sitting on a donor chassis with fenders and stuff. And it looked like it lined up. Everything lined up really nice. So y'all might want to go check that out. That'll be cool. Something to do. And check out other stuff, too. They got lots of stuff. They got, they got all kinds of stuff there. You just got to go and check it out. That's all. Look around. Now, where are we going after this? I think I'm going to start at the start, which is always a good part, with this guy. This is, let me move him for a second. Mess with the camera. Dave Strickler 65 Dodge Altered Wheelbase Phone A Car. Turn the light. Yeah. And uh, check that bad boy out. I, I would have had it done, but the paint on the chassis, the white paint I used, man, it just would not dry. I had I got a little electric heater. I took stood it up in front of the electric heater and I said, it's either going to dry or it's going to melt. <laughs> Fortunately, it dried. See, wow, that is really white. Oh, that looks much better. Yeah, uh, I built the, I'm building this straight from the kit, believe it or not. That's the, that's the factory wheels. I mean, the kit wheels. <laughs> factory. Same thing. And front end and everything. Just, just the way it comes with the kit. I like the... I like. I didn't like the wheels when they was chrome. But after I painted the spokes, that gray, that looks much better. And on the back, I'm going with the blurred out wheels. Oh, there they are. Going with the steel wheels, because that's what they used back then. No traction bars. That's that's odd, you know. But it's a, this is probably the first generation of this, you know, because it's, it's still got, you know, suspension. I got the interior done. And let me see if the light helps. Oh, there it is. Yeah, a little bit. The dashboard is over there on the table, which... Doesn't do you any good. I did the old scraped chrome off the shifter ball because to me that just looks more realistic. And painted it the same color it, it shows in the instructions. Mobius gives you so much good stuff. They have color pictures, glossy color pictures in the, de in the instructions. And show you what color to paint just about everything. So I just, I was making this so easy. My problem is I'll I'll sit and stare at something for days before I can figure out what color to paint it, you know. And but this has got it right there. Here's the motor. Now I did switch out the valve covers. There it is. Yeah, I like the fin valve covers better. And I got the wires on it already. I'm not putting the stacks on until last because I'll knock them off two or three times before it's over. And I oh, better move that box. Okay. Yeah, there she is. It's coming along. Like I said, I would have been done if I could have got that paint dry. It took me two days to get dry enough to mess with. I like I like that long those long quarter panels behind the back wheel, which you could see if I if I lifted this up. Yeah. How cool is that? That is so cool. I ain't kidding. That is cool. I fell in love with these cars the very first time I saw them. 
these altered wheel bases. Excuse me. Yeah, they're just the coolest thing. All right, what else have I been working on? Uh, stuff. Yeah, stuff. This, I take this guy. This is the Mobius Chevy 2 Gasser 65 Chevy 2. I'm taking all the parts out of that except the body to go in this feller. Which is, I think, in a 62 uh, Falcon or Falcone, depending. And I wanted, I got this far. I have the chassis, floor pan, however you want to call it. I got that fitting in here just right. And I got the interior. Let me see if I can get up in there. Oh, this dashboard is messing me up. Hang on. I'm so professional. Come on there. That was, that was messing me up. Okay, yeah, see, now it just drops right down on there. Fitting really good. Door door line. I had to take... Door panels are lining up. I, I've, been, I've been told I don't finish my sentences enough, so I'm trying to pay attention to that. Okay. Um, let me take that back off and let it fall apart. This is the modified one, and this is the stock one, as you can see. All I did was cut off a bunch off the back. Let me light off again. Yeah. See? I just took some of that edge off right there. Still looks good. And it fits and it fits in the car really nice. And, and this thing, I don't think the dealy in the back here, I don't think I had to do anything to it except install it. Yeah, uh, I wanted I would have been a little farther on this too, but I wanted to show you guys, you know, some of the stuff I had to go through to get it to get it to fit, you know, going from one kit bash to another. And here's the, as you can see, there's been a little reshaping down the side and up at the top. Not bad though, not a whole lot, you know. Yup. Okay. Now, where am I putting this stuff? Right over here. Yeah, so this guy is going to be a wicked gasser. A really cool, tall gasser. I'm not sure what motor I'm going to put in it yet. I have one of those, uh, oh, heck, I don't even want to call it that. Uh, uh, you'll see when I get it and put it in there. Anyway, I got one of those I'm, I might put in it. <laughs> I don't know. I figure this stuff out as I'm going along. Uh, oh, there's one other thing I have been working on. It took me three days to build this. But this is for the Munsters gas station. This is the sign. <laughs> Hang on. And we're going up. Up. There he is. Uh, I probably need, don't need the... the Whirly jigger. Oh, yeah. Why don't I just take... Yeah, that's better. Uh, Munsters, Texaco. I got a bat on it. And then down here on the base, got this skullduggery right here. And when you push down on that, ba -da 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 -da. Munsters, Texaco. Ha! Ah fun you don't know the hassle I had making this dadgum thing when I first did it it the, the it spun like five times faster than this it almost started a tornado here in my living room and so I took and I had it done too it was all done and I hit the wire to it check it out and it was just whipping so I tore it all the way apart and had to do it again. I'm fixing to show you what's making it work because I thought it was kind of cool. I, I don't buy stuff. Everything around here is MacGyvered. You turn it off. I have to take this off because I made it where it comes off. So you can see the Munsters Texaco and the bat. <laughs> I made this sign. It ain't the one that come with it out of some square and some flat and some braces and stuff and once again my good buddy moral made the decals for it nice they come out good 
Now, the, the base, I said these cans back here because it just looks like this concrete thing on here and somebody set a bunch of cans on it. And the skull, click, click, come off a flashlight. That's it right there. And this, this is cool. This motor, this is a double stack of uh, planetary gear reduction. Let me see if you can see the things. Yeah, you see that? See it spinning right here? Where in the heck is Fing? Is he off work today? Oh, here he is. He's over here sleeping. I'll point this out. All right, I'll do it. See how fast that's turning? That's how fast the sign was turning. I had this thing standing up <laughs> right here. <laughs> I said, well, that won't work. So I adapted a worm gear to the end of it and a smaller gear right there. Let me turn this light off. No, not really. To slow it down. And then, and then when I put, turned it, put the sign on it and turned it on, it, it was moving about as fast as the, it was moving about as fast as the second hand on the clock. Way, way, way too slow. So, I thought, oh, man, I'm going to have to turn it down to adapt some more gears to it and uh, tear it down again. And then it occurred to me, oh, yeah, I just added another battery. And that, that, spun, it, that spun it up better. That got her going about the right, just about the right speed. And that's a nice addition to the, <laughs> you can't even get it all in the picture here. I'll put it way back there. Oh, cool. And leave it running. Why not? Ha! Ah, that's neat. Where am I at? I'm only at 12 minutes. Bing, he's sitting here yawning, just just waking up. Uh, let me see. What is next? I got some next stuff. Oh, I got an unboxing, but it's an old kit you can't go and buy. Uh, you might find one on the eBay or something, but a friend sent me this a while back. A really good friend that I just love him for it. And I thought I'd go through it and show you what some of the stuff is in it. This is an old, old, old timey Revel kit. I think first came out in the 60s. You know, mid, mid to 67, maybe something like that. I built it way back then. I love, always loved Willie's gassers. And this one, man, check out the opening trunk, doors, naturally the hood opens. This sweet, sweet, look at these old, old instructions. This is a, a 85, I think, when this one came out. And I, I, I just, I hate to build it because I just love it. You know, there's a little bit of flash right there. This is the roll bar cover. Back back then, in the early gassers, that were required to have a full interior. So they said, if I'm going to put a full interior, it's going to be nice. You know, so they padded the dash and the carpet and the door panels and even the roll bar. Roll bar is inside. Oh, sorry. Roll bar is inside here with the with the tuck and roll man that's some chrome stuff right here too that thing's a humming i'm turning it off it's whisper quiet <laughs> here is motor you can't well maybe without the light how am i doing I, I, it's really late at night i woke up about an hour ago got me some coffee and got woke up and said now i'm gonna do this video and I have to take a break for just a second. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I had to wet my whistle. My throat was getting dry. There is two different grill options. This one here in the bars. I like these bars. Of course, I've always liked the moon tank stuck in its mouth there, too. It's like it's chewing on it. Pretty good. Pretty neat. And a lot of the parts on this are the tiny. Back in these days, when Rebel was doing these, scale 
was the most important thing in the world to him. If something was only half an inch thick, then like these these dealies here, that is scale. I guarantee if you met, if you uh, translate that up into full scale, that'll be just the right size. I like the drive shaft too. Boy, that's nice. You can see right through them. Extra cool ladder bars. I really like the ladder bars. I got to build this thing. As soon as I get done with something, I'm going to build this. Just do a real nice out-of-the-box job on it. Because it being a gift, it needs to be done properly. Here's the doors. Got some cool doors. Oh, yeah. It's a tuck and roll or pleated. Pleated come after tuck and roll. Tuck and roll costs a lot more than pleated. But it looks almost the same. Tuck and roll is a little puffier. Here is the motor and parts for the motor. I'm not sure what kind it is. I'm sure it's a motor. What do we got in here? Oh, interior. I like this. The Just like in the... Excuse me a bunch of times. Just like in the real car. Turn that light back on. Stick my hand in front of the camera. The... This is open in the real car, too, with the shifter linkage coming up through there so you can see it. Now, that that is sweet, especially since you can open the door and look in there and see that detail. Chasse. Excuse my French. Right there. And what is this? Dashboard and a couple of do wackies. Whatever those things are, pretty cool. I don't know what they are. I'm serious. Now these are the these tires. Probably replace these the two piece ones. This is what Rev will give you back in the '60s. You know, two piece ones that you had to stick. You couldn't glue them together. With, there's no glue in this stuff. Not not in the '60s there wasn't. Now they're probably you know super glue. There's the hood. I don't know about this back here. We'll, we'll, we'll figure that out when I build it. I had a lot of loose parts. This is one of those. Uh, come from Spotlight and uh, from the unbuilt kits where they buy collections. This was in somebody's collection. And he apparently liked to take stuff off of the off of the tree, checking it out. And that trunk lid. Boy, that's cool. And the dadgum slicks are like that, too, put together. All right. Oh, decals. Well, not really. I don't think these things will, will be any good. My body could, you know, scan them into a computer and reprint them, I suppose. Okay, well, I'm going to move this. How cool is that, though? Isn't that a sweet kit? A good friend got it and then sent it to me. He said, here, I know you how much you like Willie's. See if you like this Willie's. And he was right. I did. I, did. I liked it a lot. Hang on. I'm almost done putting it away. I got to take care of stuff. I don't leave stuff out. Now what? Um, um, okay, well. Oh, the shop cards. I put out... Uh, I ran out of stamps a couple weeks ago, so if you're still waiting on a shop card, it'll still be a little bit. I get some stamps Monday, and I start mailing them out. And uh, so, if you haven't got it yet, a shop card yet, that's why, because I ran a shop out of stamps. And, uh, oh, I did something stupid, too. I... I, I I had everybody in the Gmail, so I started at the bottom. And I'd get their address out of there and then wipe it off, you know, send it to trash. That way I didn't send them multiple ones like I did last time. Some people got three because <laughs> I got confused and I kept sending them. Anyway, and but then now I don't know who I sent them to. <laughs> you know, that dummy. Um... Yeah, because I wiped it off, and it's not in there anymore, and I didn't write it down. So um, if you don't get one eventually, holler at me, and I'll get I'll still get you one. It's because I just, I don't know. It's, it's late. 
And uh, I'm fixing to tell you something that Donnie did. The story you're about to hear is true, but the names have been changed because I can't remember them. Okay. Uh, me and Donnie was working at a body shop, this feller's body shop, and he changed. He had windows, you know, we changed windshields. And the cat come up there. He was in like an early Ford truck in you know, the 70s and just had the rubber uh, the rubber gasket around the windshield and he, he said I gotta have you put in a windshield and Donnie said sure no problem and he said when should I come back and get it a couple hours and Donnie said no man just hang around it'll only take about 15 minutes and the guy <laughs> started walking up down you cannot change that windshield in 15 minutes who are you trying to fool and Donnie says, I'm not trying to fool anybody. I'm just telling you, I can change that windshield in probably less than 15 minutes. And the guy says, I'll tell you what, I'll bet you 50 bucks that you can't change that window in 15 minutes. And Donnie says, are you sure? The guy says, yep. You know, okay. So had the truck there in the shop. Donnie grabbed, I didn't help. He had to do it by himself. He grabbed a quilt, threw it on the hood, got inside, and the top corners of the windshield rubber where it comes inside, you could flip those down and then kick it with your foot, and it'll come right out. It just pops right out like that. Well, you know, you got you to gotta do some exertion pushing. But, uh, yeah, and then the windshield come out, landed on the hood there on the quilt, and he went out there and pulled the rubber off of it, took the old windshield and throwed it away, got the new windshield set up there, put the rubber on it. And these windows, these rubbers pulled in with a rope. I don't know if you've ever seen it done, but uh, the the rubber that goes around the windshield on, on the outside lip, it, it's like a channel, and you put the rope in there, regular clothesline rope, or like jump rope, and you put it in there all the way around, and then put the windshield up there and you grab that rope on both ends and pull it and it, it folds the rubber inside, pulls the rubber inside with it. And he he set it up there and he pulls out the he pulled out the rope all the way around, padded on it a little bit and it popped down into place. Looked at his watch at thirteen minutes. Ah, guy got really mad, man. He said, You hustled me. This was a hustle. I ain't paying. And Donnie says, I didn't hustle you. And yes, you are paying. You make a bet, you're supposed to pay it. Guy said, yeah, but you knew you could change it in, in less than 15 minutes. And Donnie said, yeah, that's why I said I can change it in less than 15 minutes. And he argued a little more, but the guy ended up paying him because, you know, you don't make bets and then welch on them. And... It wasn't a hustle because we told him flat out. No, about 13 minutes. He he just didn't believe it. Anyway, that happened to Donnie. And I should have had something on the whirly jigger while I was yammering. Um, okay, so I'm going to go. Y'all, if you don't mind, give me a like and a subscribe and hit that black bell. It don't cost nothing. All kinds of free. If, if you've asked for a shop card, I mean, if you want a shop card, just uh, tap the tap the title of this video, and my Gmail will come up and tells you. And then you send me your address. I'll send you a shop card. No problem there. So uh, let me see. Shop card, like, subscribe. Yeah, give me a like and a subscribe and a black bell. And share with your buddies and comment. Love the comments. I can't. I can't do this without the comments, okay? So there's that's the deal. And, uh, yeah, that's everything. And I'm going to go, and I will see y'all later. Bye.